Hello, my name is Tom Debevoise, and I'm with Advanced Component Research. And today we're going to talk about connecting compliance decisions in the Trisotech Enterprise software with dashboards and Tableau. Many organizations, especially banks and financial institutions, are very heavily regulated. And they have a huge amount of rules and regulations that they need to comply with. They devote enormous amounts of capital and personnel to this compliance. And one of the major activities associated with compliance is the analysis of the vast quantities of big data these corporations generate. Compliance personnel use business intelligence tools such as Tableau and Click to monitor compliance. They visualize the data, slice and dice it, drill down on potential compliance issues. And the dashboards are very powerful at doing this, at identifying potential compliance issues. However, at this point, the process becomes manual. Someone has to pick up a phone, make a phone call, send an email, start a workflow offline. And this is because dashboards do not decide with data. They can find data. They can find very subtle patterns. They can find the needle at the haystack, but they can't make a decision as to what to do next. So today we want to talk about how you decide with data. And that method is known as decision modeling. Decision modeling is a precise methodology for converting a source document, such as the Code of Federal Regulations, into an explicit following of the logic, rules, calculations that are associated with a particular regulation. It lays out a map for auditors to understand exactly how a particular regulation is followed. We do this decision modeling in a notation known as Decision Model Notation, DMN, which is an OMG standard. And it creates the logic that follows the explicit direction of the regulation. So let's look at a regulation in Decision Model Notation. We'll select this one from Dodd-Frank, which is related to computing the initial margin for a covered swap entity, and also the haircut associated with the collateral that's posted against that haircut. Now we're looking at a model of the regulation we described. This is inside the decision modeler of the Trisotech Enterprise software, and it uses a notation, decision model notation, to create the logic of the model. So there are four important shapes on this diagram. A decision is a rectangle, and it holds the logic of the model. Input data is an oval, and that's the input data provided into the model. The clipped rectangle denotes a business knowledge model, which is shareable logic across the organization. And the document shape depicts a knowledge source, which is a documentation of a decision input data or business knowledge model. We can look at some of the logic inside of the model. Here we have the percentage of notional exposure that's returned against a particular asset class of the swap. This is a decision table that comes out of the regulation. Similarly, we can look at the haircut that's applied to collateral that's posted against that initial margin. So we can see the collateral type returns a particular haircut associated with that. And we want to look at how steps by step logic is applied to a regulation. Here in the top section, we have documentation or comments that are associated with this compute margin requirement. So these steps A through E come right out of the regulation. And they are implemented in what's known as a context in a box expression, which is a way of computing the logic associated with the regulation. We can see that 
the associated terms are business friendly terms. They have spaces in between the words and they correspond to the words that are in the regulation itself. And this is an important aspect of how we map the regulation to the logic of the decision. So while we're in the Tritotech Enterprise software, let's look at another important capability. The Knowledge Entity Modeler creates a shared understanding of business knowledge across all of the stakeholders in the enterprise on a certain topic. This topic here we're talking about is the computation of the initial margin for a swap. So this contains terms, and those terms and the definition come out of the regulation, but we can also diagram business rules with this knowledge entity modeler. Why is this important for decision modeling? We can actually reuse these terms in our decision model. So if I go to swap and say this includes uncleared swaps, I can look up uncleared swaps. It's down here. We have now connected our decision model and the input data with this knowledge entity model. I can also attach a particular knowledge source, this computation or calculation of initial margin. I can connect this knowledge source with the decision compute initial uh, compute margin requirements. So there we have a basic understanding of how we create a business decision model that follows a certain compliance regulation in the Tricetech software. What we want to do now is connect the input data sources swap, base currency, and collateral basket with the information on the Tableau dashboard. So let's go over a use case in Tableau. Imagine you have a dashboard that monitors the swap data. We're going to show you a dashboard extension that calls the decision model that we just reviewed. It's going to use the data in the dashboard and provide that data to the logic. Swap margins that are out of compliance will start a workflow. Let's go ahead and look at Tableau. Here we have the data. Here's the asset class. Remember the first decision table we looked at. There's the notional exposure, and we have the current margin, that margin that's actually posted against the swap. I'll bring up the dashboard and drag our extension on. And this extension is going to call that decision model. And we can see that we have several swaps that are out of compliance based on the difference between the current margin and the regulatory margin requirement. We can now start a workflow and take care of that compliance issue and provide information On top of that, we can look at the decisions that are associated with the extension. So you can have more than one decision associated with the dashboard, and it can be looking at different data elements. So this particular, we can see here are the endpoint properties, which are the data elements that are input into the decision. And we have a picture of the diagram of the decision model that's associated with that input data. So this information is basically straightforward information that comes out of the data table, but that information could have been derived from analytics or machine learning. What we can do with the decision model 
is take that to the next step and to decide what is done with the data that we have discovered in Tableau. The Trisotech Enterprise software offers a centralized repository of processes and decisions that can be connected to Tableau in a microservices architecture. This repository is critical if you were to use the approach we describe for connecting processes and decisions to Tableau. You'll need to have a centralized source of APIs that can be connected to the data elements provided by the dashboard. This is in the Trisotech Enterprise software. Trisotech also has a discovery accelerator, which allows you to understand how things get done in your business. It'll help answer important questions such as who, what, where, when, and why. This is critical for compliance models that use a centralized semantic vocabulary. Trisotech has decision modeling in DMN, which we looked at, and process modeling in BPMN and both of these can be made executable. Finally, the Trisotech approach will create reusable decision logic across compliance areas. For more information on Trisotech, visit trisotech.com. And for more information on this approach to connecting processes and decisions to Tableau dashboards, here's my email. Thanks for listening to my talk today and have a great day.